Sadhguru, Namaskaram. Uh, you mentioned in your previous discourses that 30% uh, uh, of the illnesses are a body, while the rest are mind created. Uh, I just want to know in case you do get an illness, how do you know that it's mind created or it's of the body? And in case it's psychosomatic in nature, what would be the emotional and the thought pattern that's behind it? How would you find that out and correct it if possible? Thank you. Suppose your right hand gets up and does funny things and smashes you, pokes your eyes, <laughs> do you have an ailment or no? Yes, isn't it? For sure you have. That's exactly what your mind is doing, isn't it? It gets up, pops around, hurts you, pokes you, makes you cry, makes you <laughs> suffer. Do you have an ailment or no? If your hand started poking at you, hitting you, beating you up, definitely you are sick, isn't it? Yes. So if your thoughts and emotions are poking you, st strangling you, torturing you every day, aren't you sick, I'm asking? By your own definition, I'm going. <laughs> so, because this sickness is on, it will manifest in so many ways in the physical body. There is no question anymore. Every thought, every reverberation on the level of the mind, depending upon the type of reverberation you create, the whole chemistry is going through a change. It's all been measured. Right now you sit here and think about tigers, you have one kind of chemistry, chemical changes happen. You think about flowers, another kind of chemical change happens. All this has been measured. So for every thought, if the whole chemistry is going through thing, if your mind is in this state, you know what kind of soup you're making? You're a lousy soup. Not just lousy, poisonous. If you're soaked in this poisonous soup on a daily basis, how to know well-being? It'll not happen like that. We don't have so much control today in the world as to what we eat, what we drink, what we breathe, all of it is somewhat poisoned. Modern societies have started treating disease, ailment, as a natural process, which is a serious mistake. Ancient societies always saw disease as something wrong. That's not how a man, is sh man should be. A human being should not be in any state of illness, because illness means something fundamentally wrong. But modern societies have started treating this as normal because there's an industry which thrives on you, <laughs> very major industry. The second largest industry on the planet is pharmaceuticals. So, if the second largest industry on the planet is pharmaceuticals, there's too much lousy soup, <laughs> isn't it? Every day you have to add something to this to make it… No. If you're willing, we can make this into a very wonderful soup. The chemistry is in a fantastic state. To be blissful is natural. If you do this, believe me, seventy percent of the ailments will vanish from the planet. Another thirty percent, there are many external influences which are not always in control. You cannot control that, only to some extent. So, if you're constantly creating a nasty chemistry within you. How is life within you supposed to understand you're seeking well-being? How? It's just unfair. <laughs> life within you thinks he likes ailments and gives it to you, yes? If you're poisoning your system from within, for which there is substantial proof, for every thought and emotion, the chemical composition of your body is changing. If you're creating poison from within you and you want to live well, how is it? Life doesn't work like that. Unless you do right things, right things will not happen to you. <laughs>